My friend keeps saying, cheer up, it could be worse. You could be stuck on the ground in a hole full of water. I know he means well. <laughs> <laughs> Hello again, everybody, and welcome back. Right, so today we're going to be looking at the air mouse, and I've got to say I'm really impressed. If you like the remote wireless keyboard, this is even better in my opinion. So we're going to quickly take a look at the features, we're going to take a look at the price, and then you're going to comment down below what you think. So that being said, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, and let's crack on. Right, so first of all, what I want to say is thank you to Banggood for sending the product out. I am very impressed with it. Also, any links will be in the description down below of where you can go and view the product and the, anything I use inside this video. I'm not going to spend four days unboxing it because it's done. That's how fast I am. I'm done. <laughs> right, so it comes with a charger cable. Nice. Comes with the remote. Nice. I love that remote. But it also comes with a Bluetooth dongle. Nice. I absolutely love the look of that. I think it looks awesome, and I think it looks a lot better than the remote. And I think it looks a lot better than the remote wireless keyboard. And then on the back, look at that bad boy. No messing around. No messing around. And let me just say as well, if you want to use it on the 4K Fire, well, Amazon Fire Sticks in general, you will need an OTG cable, and this is a cable that allows you to plug into the power port with a micro USB. Plus, it allows you to free up a USB port as well where you can plug in this dongle. But like I say, I will leave links down below of where you can get them from. Right then, so the USB is plugged in and let's click it. Right, so we're working. We're working. Good news. I want to try the air mouse because I don't know how it's an air mouse without a air pad on it. I don't know, but let's try it excited. Right, so I'm just going to go into download and I'm going to launch that. Allow the permissions, okay, obviously as we know. Right then, so I'm going to press the mouse button there. As you can see, you do get a mouse feature. On the remote wireless keyboard, it's a big pad on the front. But that's real. I don't know, let's just press it. So you'll see, when I press the mouse, it's actually guided by movement. I love it. And it works. Right, so one problem it does have with downloader is when I'm clicking back, it's actually going to previous. I just want to let you know about that. So I'm guessing put the air mouse on and click off the keyboard. Right then, so I've got to say, I love that mouse. But also now we're going to try the keyboard. And as you can see at the bottom left, you've got an FN key. And if you press this once, it comes up with a blue LED at the top. You can turn that on or off. And as you can see, there's white and blue characters. If you have the FN button switched on, this will do the blue characters. If it's switched off, it'll allow you to do the white characters. So I'm going to switch that off. And then I'm going to try typing in a website. And let's see how we get on with it. Right, so let's crack on.org. We're going to hit enter on that. And there you go, ding dang do. Right, so now we're going to put the air mouse on. Let's see if we can click stuff in. Like I say, you wouldn't use this for download. You'd use it purely inside apps that require it. But as you can see there, it's working well. And purely to keep this video short, I'm not even going to try it on Android Box because it's going to work exactly the same. All you're going to do with the USB dongle, the Bluetooth dongle, you're going to plug that into your Android Box and it's going to work exactly the same. All I'm going to say is I'm really impressed with that. I love the look of it. If you've got that in your living room, I think it looks a lot better than that. Although that is nice to hold, and the keys are pretty, it's, it's large, but I like the buttons on this. I don't know, comment down below what you think. Which one? Which one? But now we'll jump over and quickly look at some prices, and then comment down below what you think. Right then, so as you can see, we've got it here, and it is actually cheaper than what I thought it was. £9.83, and you can pay more than that for a remote wireless keyboard. So if I were going to suggest one, I really like that. But it might be personal preference also. Don't just take my word for it. If you don't like the look of that, don't buy it. But I'm just saying, I like the look of that. <laughs> oh, and also, what I forgot to tell you, if you didn't see before, it's actually got a volume button on there as well. And it's got an on-off button. How they perform, I don't know. But I'm not really interested in those. So as you can see, that's the controller. You can scroll down. You can find some stuff about it. Like I say, I will leave the link in the description down below of where you can go and see this. But yeah, just comment down below what you think. I personally, I'm going to use it in my living room. I think that'll make me look posh. And it may make me look like I've got a lot of money. <laughs> right, so that being said, thank you for watching. I hope this video has made you a bit more knowledgeable on what's out there to do with remotes. I don't know what I'm saying, so I'm going to go now. So you take care and I'll see you soon. Sarah.
it looks that nice, you could probably eat it. So I eat it. I forgot to say, there's the charging part. 